Welcome to one of the oldest city in Czech Republic. Ustek archaeological excavations reveal that the foothills were inhabited as early as in the 10th-13th century. Ancient trading paths lead through here from Litomorais to Lusatia. The role of Ustek gained importance only in the 14th century when the village of Ustek was given the status of a town by the lords of Mikalovais and it acquired municipal rights. The date of the promotion to a town is not documented anywhere, it was probably in the year 1361. From the time of its foundation, the town center is located in the broadest part of the Foothills Basin, in the place where St. Peter's and Paul's Church was built. In that place, an evangelic church used to stand in the midst of a cemetery and was surrounded by wooden houses. The lords of Mikalovice put Ustek to pledge in 1387 in connection with a debt due to the Burkas of Duba who continued in the construction and fortification of the town. The town gates were also constructed, the German gate to the east and the Bohemian gate to the west. Around these gates the respective suburbs of the same name grew, the German district and the Bohemian district. At the end of the 14th century, probably under the lords of Mikalovice, a castle construction was started on a foothill to the south of the town which was continued by the Burkas. Nowadays, the castle ruin can be found in the manor court behind the town hall. The noble family of the Burkas of Duba possessed Ustek until they sold the town to the Hussite captain Václav Karta of Petrovice in 1426. At that time the Ustek possession included the villages of Lukov, Lysanis, Ostre, Zimmer, Trnabrani, Habrina, Esardov, Vysoki, Brusov, Mukov, Levin, Bukovina, Lota and Chodorchina. The Karta's Ustek property formed the northern border of a region controlled by the Hussites resulting in frequent conflicts with the lords of Hazenburg, Vartenburg and Smeris. When Ustek was conquered and plundered by Zikmund of Vartenburg and when Václav Karta returned from the captivity resulting from his participation in the Battle of Budine in 1428, the strategic role of the property was finally recognized and the construction of the fortification was resumed. Both gates became fortified and on both sides of the foothills massive towers were erected. This kind of construction of the castle in the middle of the town was unknown and very exceptional in Bohemia at that time. Václav Karta fortified not only the town but he also granted the town the right of one mile, and freed its inhabitants of bond service. In 1475, the noble family of the Sezimas of Usti took over the property through marriage. They were entitled to bear the honorary title of hereditary waiter to the Czech kings, i.e. They had the right to supervise the cutting of meals at royal feasts. The family soon extended their original name to the Sezimas of Usti and Ustek. The Sezimas stopped fortification work, they only repaired the damaged German and Czech gate. Also, sandstone plates with Czech texts were put on the walls of both gates. The text on the Eastern German gate read that the Lord Jan Sezima of Usti and of Ustek had this gate renovated on 5 May 1560. The Czech text conserved until our days on the gate proves that Czech was both in colloquial and official use under the Sezimas both suburbs experienced rapid growth, especially Podolets, the place on the confluence of the Usteki and Lubni brooks. The town had two breweries, three ponds and 179 houses with approximately 1,000 inhabitants including the suburbs. Judging from the size of the town it was comparable with that of Melnik and Usti nad Labem. The Sezimas possessed 46 villages. The defeat of the Czech orders at the Battle of White Hill in 1620 brought the decline of this noble family. They were in opposition to the Habsburgs and gradually lost their entire possessions including the Ustek property. The Ustek property was confiscated in 1622. One part of it fell to the Prague Jesuits, the other was acquired by Colonel Jan I Merode who sold it in 1630 to the Jesuits of Litomorais. It was since 1675 that the property was under the control of Prague Jesuits. They lived in the castle of Ustek which they adapted according to their needs. In the middle of the 17th century they moved to a new home in Libesice which became the administrative center of their property. So the castle of Ustek lost its importance and from that time on it was used only as an administrative building. The Jesuits closed the cemetery around the St. Michael Church and started the construction of a new parsonage in 1722, most probably designed by Octavius Braggio, a Litomorais architect of Italian origin. 
The church itself was torn down in 1764 and 13 days after its demolition the St. Peter and St. Paul Church was started. The new church was inaugurated on 8 November 1767. Under the Jesuits trades developed and guilds were founded. Also, agriculture developed, especially the cultivation of quality hops contributed substantially to the reputation of the town. Vineyards were planted on the slopes of Budina Hill and in the valley of Tetsinis. The fire that smote the town in 1765 was really devastating. Most of the houses on the northern side of the market and a large part of the town in the southeast were destroyed. The town center took its current shape during the reconstruction.